This is day 42, which is pretty remarkable to me. Um, I've got a lot in my head today. The other day I had nothing, and today I have a lot. So, in my meditation, I was thinking about opinions. I had a uh, situation prior to going into meditation, and I was noticing that I have a lot of opinions about this situation. So I was just kind of observing the thoughts, the opinions that were going through my mind. Why did they do this? Why did they do that? How come they didn't wait for this? How come they didn't wait for that? And just this amazing process of my mind putting a complete filter in front of my thinking as relates to another person and the choices that they made. To go so far as to say in the awareness of these opinions, I said, well, even if I'm right, who am I to have these opinions? So I grew up certainly in a culture where everyone always had opinions about everybody else. In fact, it was not uncommon for all those opinions to be told to the person. And it was not uncommon for people to talk about other people and constantly give their opinions about what they were doing right or what they were doing wrong and what they should do and what they shouldn't do. And so I, I have found that I'm always very skeptical, skeptical about sharing my intimate thoughts and feelings about the direction of my life because I, I don't necessarily want to give or rather to hear people's opinions. And at the same time, I'm very conscious about giving opinions because it's been such a natural thing to do. And so in this situation, it would not serve to give my opinion. First of all, I've not been asked. And even if I was asked, I don't know that it's a proper filter through which I should speak. You know, it is what it is, and each person is doing what it is they do, whatever their motivation. And though we may see the outpicturing or the outcome of such choices, and it may be difficult to witness the stress or the pressure that somebody is going through because of their choices, I mean, in the end, what is it that I'm really here to do? I'm here to pray for that person. I'm here to listen to that person. I'm here to be as compassionate as I can. I don't think I'm here to give my opinion, especially if I'm not asked, because really an opinion is just what somebody can say through their own experience, through their own value system, through their own belief system. So it's, it's, an interesting, it's an interesting thing. Another interesting thing is I found on this back wall over there, you see the, uh, the dry erase board where I have, have written all this stuff um, in, in February about what was happening this year, my intentions for this year, the things I was seeking to uh, achieve and accomplish and the activity I was intending to set for my calendar and my speaking engagements and all of that. And above it is the flow group questionnaire. So when I submitted my video to the flow group, they provide a list of questions you can consider a answering in your, in your video. And I noticed that, you know, and, and this is really about me forgiving myself. This is what I'm extending to myself today because I really created a whole thing around something that wasn't necessarily saying it was going to be that thing. And though I could easily use the word, oh, I'm, I was so desperate for guidance, I was so desperate for help. And that just may be the feeling that we feel when we're exhausted, when we've taken something as far as we can and it's not far enough and we're seeking help. I mean, I understand what I was seeking. And I, don't, I still don't necessarily think that it was bad that I wanted this weekend to be about specific things. The problem, or it became a problem when it wasn't about those things. And so I just have to forgive myself because it's been kind of heavy duty coming out of that weekend and feeling like a failure, feeling like a fool for creating something out of nothing that I went into this experience with so many expectations about what was going to happen and it didn't happen. And to just be okay with what's going on right now, which is not a whole lot. And to just kind of clear the table, I feel like, you know, whatever that board has on it with the red marker, you know, I think I just need to give myself permission to wipe all these boards clean and start again. Because I just feel uncomfortable being in this place where nothing seemingly is happening.
Um, you know, when I'm in New Jersey, I'm in service to my family, and it has always been a challenge for me to keep the focus on also serving myself. So, a lot of rambling, I know. And it's day 42, and one of the things that has to happen is um, I have to, or I get to, um, create this flight to Los Angeles to go to this Michael Beckwith meditation retreat at the end of May. Now, I said yes to that, thinking that all sorts of financial things were going to happen in February and March and April, and, and they didn't. So I, I, feel that, I feel that very familiar nervousness about where is it going to come from. I feel that shame about once again um, having something to do and not seemingly the money to do it. So this is really uh, a challenging time and I have to tell a new story to stay vibrationally above this, you know, sinkhole that always brings me down. I, I don't want to be down. I don't want to feel shame. I don't want to feel those feelings. They're just terrible. They're debilitating and they don't help me. Um, I believe that um, anything is possible. So, I don't know, maybe you're in a similar place, maybe you're not, maybe you're totally clear, maybe you're, you're really good, and, and um, I'm just uh, hoping that um, whatever this all is, it's, it's something that's meaningful and purposeful, because, you know, and the other thing I was thinking, too, is, look, you know, there's not something outside of yourself that you, you're, like, I keep looking outside of myself for something to tell me what to do. And even though I may say it's God, and I'm seeking God's guidance and all, in the end, I have to choose. I have to choose. So, yeah, I came into this video thinking I was really clear about what it is I was going to say, and maybe I am really clear, but there it is again. Clearly, I'm not sure. This is day 42.